History will be made in Annapolis this week as Wes Moore is set to become the first black governor in the state's history. The swearing in ceremony of Governor elect Moore and Lieutenant Governor elect Aruna Miller is scheduled for noon this Wednesday at the state capitol. That ceremony is open to the public, but be aware there will be plenty of road closures in Annapolis for the inauguration. We have a full list on our website, WBALTV.com. The Salvation Army of Central Maryland is doing its part to ensure everyone can stay warm this winter. On Saturday, the organization held a coat drop-off event as part of its Bundle Up Baltimore program. Those who wanted to help took coats, jackets, and blankets to Zip's dry cleaning locations across our area. Last year, the Salvation Army of Central Maryland says it collected about 1,200 coats and blankets. A firefighter is recovering this morning after battling a vacant building fire in Bel Air. That fire started shortly after 3 o'clock yesterday afternoon. The Bel Air Fire Volunteer Fire Company says there was heavy smoke coming from the building by the time crews got to the scene on Baltimore Pike. It took about 30 firefighters to get the scene under control. Firefighters officials rather tell 11 News that firefighters' injuries are minor. The cause of the fire is under investigation. Good morning. And this morning, a woman and her dog are recovering after a shooting that happened in Brooklyn Park Sunday. It all took place near a McDonald's on Ritchie Highway. Police say that woman was walking her dog when someone shot both of them. Investigators say they're not sure about the motive. The woman was taken to the hospital. The family took the dog to the vet, and there's no word on their conditions this morning. Well, now let's get a check on your weather and traffic for this holiday. And you know, we had some issues earlier. What about yeah, you? well, the crash on I-97 in the Crownsville area southbound, that has cleared out, mm -hmm. but we are still watching a crash. Uh, on Crane Highway, the south of the city. This crash is southbound and the road is closed from St. Stephen's Church Road to Waugh Chapel Road, so just giving you that heads up there. If you're headed from our Beltway down to the Capitol Beltway, it's going to be a pretty smooth commute, just 18 minutes on 295 southbound, 20 minutes on 95 southbound. Uh, not a lot of cars out there this morning. Not a lot of folks are off for the holiday. Here's a live look for you all along the Beltway, all points north, south, east, and west. Things are looking good. I-70 eastbound from 40 over to the Beltway. You're looking at about an eight-minute commute with top speeds right around 73 miles per hour and then north of the city here's what things are looking like in the Cockeysville area 795 at McDonough Road and also I-95 south of Maryland 43. Yeah, really vibrant sunshine out there, and that's going to help us ease up into the afternoon. We may be in the 30s now, but we'll end up in the low 50s later today. The wind not nearly as gusty as this past weekend, but it still could feel a little brisk in the afternoon as it picks up to about 10 miles per hour. Then the clouds increase this evening. We have some rain showers in western Maryland tomorrow. As they move towards Baltimore, they kind of break apart, so just a slight chance we'd see a few showers tomorrow morning. Overall, though, a milder trend this week as we're in the 50s for the next few days. Wednesday looks like your nicest day 58 with dry weather till we get some rain on Thursday following that a cooler trend into next weekend Saturday looks like the better outdoor day although it will be cooler that day because there could be some showers on Sunday all right thanks ladies we'll have another live update for you at for you at 756 we'll see you then will help provide security for the event. 25 deputies will be deployed along the parade route. This will be picking up the staffing costs through its general operating expenses. The parade again starts today at noon. It will start at the corner of MLK Junior Boulevard and Utah Street and then head south towards Saratoga. Well, this morning we have an 11 News update on the 15-year-old girl who was stabbed inside Lansdowne High School. She is now out of the hospital and back home with family after being seriously hurt when police say one of her classmates used a knife to stab her in a fight that spilled from a bathroom into the hallway. Charging documents reveal the assault was likely the result of a love triangle gone wrong. The suspect is now charged with attempted first-degree murder. All right, Ava, let's get a uh, check on the weather now. Yeah, we have rain building in, but I'm watching up north in Baltimore County because it might be leaning a little wintry. Maybe you've seen a few snowflakes mix in there towards Parkton. At least the temperatures there above freezing, but there may be some slick spots in Pennsylvania before this changes to a rain. We have the showers developing now. We'll have them scattered throughout the next few hours, so most steady before about noon today, and then isolated showers this afternoon. will climb into the upper 40s and then dry out this evening, falling back into the 40s tonight. Tomorrow, a nicer day at 57 with dry weather, just a little breezy, but really our warmest day of the week because Thursday turns rainy again. The end of the week dries out but turns cooler, and we do maybe have some wintry weather next Monday, but we'll worry about that a week away from yeah, now. We're not
We're talking about that right now. The roads. <laughs> All right. Well, when it comes to the roads, things are mostly looking good for the most part out there. I am watching a uh, crash, unfortunately, though, in the city. Greenmount Avenue right near Madison Street. So just watch out for that. Here's what things are looking like for you uh, in the Rosedale area, 895 north of US 40. Not a lot of cars out there. I-95 south of Eastern. Not too bad. Top side of the Beltway. Here's a look for you at uh, 695 at Providence Road and 695 at Green Spring Road. And then a quick live look for you all along the Beltway. All points north, south, east, and west. You can see traffic starting to pick up just a bit. And then a quick live look for you at both of our tunnels, the Fort McHenry Tunnel, as well as the Baltimore Harbor Tunnel. Big day in Annapolis today. Preparations are underway for today's historic governor's inauguration swearing in ceremony. And 11 News reporter Janine Donaldson is joining us live from the State House with what to expect. Good morning, Janine. Good morning, Jen, and we can expect thousands to attend this historic event. As you can see behind me, preparations underway. The streets already blocked off here in front of the State House this morning. Wes Moore and Aruna Miller will be sworn in today using Frederick Douglass's Bible, and this is a historic event. Wes Moore will become the first black governor of Maryland, and Aruna Miller will become the first immigrant uh, lieutenant governor of Maryland. And again, this is a historic event. A lot of other events taking place today. The inauguration set to begin at 12 o'clock with the outdoor ceremony kicking off at 12:30, and of course WBAL will have a special uh, version of our noon show today on 11 news at noon. Jen back to you. All right. Thanks Janine and you'll be hosting that event. Sure, yeah, I know. Cool. <laughs> That's right. All right. Well let's look at the roads right now. We are watching a couple of crashes out there. We've got a crash on the inner loop 695 right at exit 18 Maryland 26. So watch out for that. And there is some debris on the roadway also on 695 the inner loop right at exit 16 I-70. Watch out. And then two other crashes Maryland 100 eastbound. There's a crash right between uh, US 1 and Dorset Station Drive and Maryland 295 southbound. There was an earlier crash right between I-95 and Maryland. Maryland 100. So just be careful out there. Uh, from our Beltway down to the Capitol Beltway, it's going to be about 37 minutes on 295 southbound, 25 minutes on 95 southbound. And for Inauguration Day in January, the weather's pretty decent. Not bad. We'll be in the 50s this afternoon. Just keep in mind that breeze. If you do plan to be outside, you'll want a jacket. And then overnight, that's when we have showers. Rain at times throughout Thursday will dry out Friday, but with a brisk wind, it will turn cooler into the upcoming weekend. All right, we'll have another live update for you at 756. We'll see you then. We're live at the State House this morning where Wes Moore will be sworn in as the first black governor of Maryland and Aruna Miller will be sworn in as the first immigrant lieutenant governor of Maryland. Today we'll have a special broadcast showing you the inauguration. Watch us today at noon on 11. Watch us today at noon on 11 News and we'll be back after a quick break with a check of the weather.